everyone, my name is Dina. The name of my channel is That Girl Dina Marie. Thank you for being here. Thank you for coming back, or thank you if you're new. Um, I do love my native jewelry, my Native American jewelry, and um, almost many, many of the pieces are signed. I have a, a lot of signed pieces. This video is going to go really long, and I've been having trouble with my videos near the end they start going off track so my mouth is moving differently than the sound i haven't figured out how to fix that so i'm going to move through this i'm not going to say who it's signed by i'll tell you if it's a signed piece if you're curious about a piece hey put a comment in the comments and i'll look it up and let you know all about it um a piece you're interested in think it's neat so um um and uh, I would love that actually so there there's a lot so let's just get started and again thank you for coming by if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button um, for me because that really helps the algorithm and stuff on here for interactions and stuff um, and subscribe if you like my content um, I'll be bringing more uh, of my collections after this video I'm doing a uh, Mexico silver which is about as large as my native. Um, there's a lot of pieces that look native, but they're Taxco pieces, which are made in Mexico. So um, I am, I have put those in the Mexico silver collection, and I will be showing those. So, and um, I just decided I think I'm also going to do one for my crosses because I do have a a pretty good cross collection. So I collect Taxco. Um, and I collect um, native because I just I love the look. I collect crosses. Um, oh, I probably collect some other stuff too. Um, and I love to collect some um, nice uh, vintage stuff. Love vintage stuff. So um, anyway, I'll quit jabbering. Let's get started. All right. Um, I've just put it all in front of me and back here on the the necklace thingy, magics. So um, let's just start with uh, some of the big bracelets that I have that I've recently purchased too, uh, some of my favorites. So this is not a signed piece. I picked this piece up and you, if you've watched all my videos, you've seen some of this before, not all of it, but some of it. So I picked this piece up from Tanya at My Jewelry Addiction. Y'all, this is an amazing, amazing piece. I am in love with it. Um, I've worn it several times. It matches a lot of my, uh, I love this color, uh, you know, the Sleeping Beauty color. I don't know if it's Sleeping Beauty or not. Um, I am. I need to get um, more knowledgeable about everything. So it's an unsigned beauty. It's old. It's gorgeous. This tarnish is, look at that beautiful tarnish. I, I won't be cleaning this because I like the way this looks. And it's just stunning gorgeous. Um, another bracelet I recently picked up is, um, this is Sue Denim to Diamonds, and is the name of her YouTube channel. You should go check her out if you don't already know of her. Um, she has amazing pieces. Guys, I picked this up from her. Um, we believe it's probably from the 40s. It's an unsigned, beautiful piece. This, guys, I'm in love with this. I love it. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And like I said, we're going to move pretty quick because there's so much of it. Uh, this is another piece that I picked up from Sue. It is a signed piece. There's the signature. Beautiful, beautiful inlay work. I mean, this is just a stunner. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, this piece I picked up at a... Um, at a uh, an estate sale so i got there late in the day there wasn't much left and this was sitting there the problem was is this had one of the pieces missing so here we go here we go it's beautiful it's thick and heavy it's a signed piece as well well my wonderful husband was able to i couldn't find this turquoise or this i couldn't find anything like it but i could find a piece of jewelry that had this in it so he um and it was just a costume piece you know so 
he he got his tools out and sawed it all out, and he was able to do that. So it's wearable now. And you know, it's it this should be this, but it works great. It's kind of showing the difference in the um video, but really in person you can't tell at all. So it's a it's it's wearable now, it makes me very happy, and I paid five dollars for it, so yay me. <laughs> so really happy about that. Listen to me, I'm just going dabber to get dabber 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 about my jewelry. I can't help it. But I'm trying. Okay, let's go, go, go. This is a piece I just picked up today, so it's in the video I just posted a minute ago. But um, I looked into it, and these are a uh, signed piece, and they are Navajo. They're really heavy and just beautiful, beautiful earrings. Um, and this is the way they go, like this. I had them squared the other way. I do like them like this a lot more. Isn't that beautiful? So malachite, turquoise, onyx, and not sure... Not sure what that is. Um, is it petrified wood, maybe? Maybe. Anyway, they're gorgeous earrings. And those are signed Navajo. This is an unsigned piece. It's just a little thing. I haven't even... I need to put it on a thing. But I got it at a yard sale. I think I paid uh, 50 cents for it. I need to put a thing on there and put it on a necklace. So it's really pretty. It's an unsigned piece. Um, it's obviously Native American. Um, these are... Yep, these are signed, a signed piece as well. I believe those to be native. Gorgeous, gorgeous pair of earrings. I love those so much. This is just a little bitty ring. You know, I don't know if that's native or not. It's not a signed piece, so I don't know. It's a little cute little ring I wear on my pinky. Um... This is in the video, that previous video as well. This is a signed piece. I just picked this up from my jewelry addiction, Tanya, and it's gorgeous, y'all. Look at that. Oh, just a beautiful piece of turquoise. I mean, that's a really pretty. I love the bail. Um, I just love everything about it. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous. I like the signed pieces. Um, I don't know why, but I mean, I love my unsigned pieces too. This is, I picked this up at a um, estate sale. Um, I think I paid like, Ten dollars for it. Um, it's unsigned. I think it's unsigned. Do I remember that right? Yeah. So it's unsigned, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful turquoise and sterling silver. Um, these aren't. I wouldn't necessarily call these native, but I'm just going to show them to you because they're gorgeous. This is turquoise. So I don't know why I threw those in there. Um, this is a, um, this is unsigned. I think this is unsigned. Yeah, this is an unsigned, um, piece. I'm not sure where, where, I'm not even sure what tribe this is, but, um, it's really pretty, 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 pretty nice turquoise. And this is an unsigned, I say it's unsigned, um, God, there's so much of it, I forget. But anyway, it's just a little turquoise ring. It's very pretty. I like that a lot. This is just like a really touristy piece, um, unsigned. It says sterling on the inside. But it's cute, right? I really like it. You know, it's a sweet little one um, to wear. Um, these are um, unsigned. that would be called native anyway i picked these up the other day i'm just showing them because they're turquoise pretty pretty um this is a this is a sign piece pretty pretty i wear that as a knuckle ring um this is a this is obviously um i believe zuni yeah that's a zuni piece Really like that piece, and it is that is God. I've got the tarnish on it so bad, I see some stuff on there, but anyway, nice and love that piece. Sorry, there you go. I have to cover my face, or else it tries to focus on your face. Um, 
Uh, oh, these are cool. Um, these are this is a, these are signed pieces, so they're signed. Um, again, uh, Tanya at my jewelry addiction. Go check her out. Um, she had a jewelry jar that she opened, and there was um, a bracelet in there that was broken. So it was, um, you know, she's working on learning how to how to silversmith and stuff. But right now she um, couldn't put these together. So anyway, this was a bracelet, and she turned it into two rings. Um, you know, like I said, they were it was broken, but it, and it's beautiful. I love it. I wear it all the time because it's just gorgeous beautiful and she just put them together she was able to you know make it round it fits comfortably it's real real comfortable and um love those so much um these are unsigned so i don't know if you, we would call them native or not what do you think it's a really pretty turquoise though here let's get my face out of it Aren't they beautiful? Look at all that work. Stirring silver and turquoise. There's the back. Pretty, pretty. I like those a lot. Um, this is unsigned. It's just a tiny little ring I wear on my pinky. It's cute. It's obviously native. Uh, again, this is turquoise, so it's really not... It's just a piece of turquoise on a wire ring. Um, I picked this up when I was in, um, uh, where was I? Santa Fe. I picked this piece up. It's gorgeous. It's a signed piece. I love this. Again, I wear this all the time, and I wear it with um, the ring that uh, Tanya made that I just showed you. And, oh, I've just got everything piled up. Anyway, yeah, so here it is. I wear it because the... Look how pretty those go together. The blue look. Yeah, so I wear those a lot. Um, this is a signed piece. Really pretty. It's got all the different stuff in there. And I love how this it looks on the side. So it's just a really, really pretty piece. These are unsigned, but again, they're turquoise. Just wanted to show them. I don't know if those are those aren't really native, so we won't even show those. These are signed. These are beautiful again. Signed native pieces. Aren't those gorgeous? Just beautiful. They're signed on the back. I don't know. Well, that's not what we're here to do. We're here to see the jewelry. They're just gorgeous. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. God, I dropped stuff so much, y'all. I've dropped so many pieces of jewelry and actually broken them. My floors are made out of hard tile the kind that looks like wood um and i just gotta i only I, I can only put my jewelry on when i'm like on the bed or something <laughs> so i'm just good because i've broken a few pieces and it's terrible um you know it's just terrible um this is a signed piece what do you think of that isn't that gorgeous beautiful 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 i love this brooch um, these are unsigned. I love them. Aren't those gorgeous? I collect crosses and native stuff. So turquoise, I love turquoise. And, um, I saw these and these are just gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. Um, these are signed pieces. I picked these up in Santa Fe again. Um, love these. These are really pretty. So these, you know, can be worn whatever you're wearing so it's got the coral turquoise and um what is that stuff called it's uh can't remember can't remember but it's gorgeous look at those aren't they pretty yeah so i love those uh, this is, is turquoise but it's not native um it's uh called it's a signed piece though it's called rock Rock critters. So anyway, I wanted to show it to you because it's so cute. And at first I thought I picked this up from a um a state sale and it was inexpensive. And I think they thought that the it was missing. I think that's what the lady said. She goes, it's missing the turquoise from the the face. But that's how it's made. Um I looked them up and that is how it's fine. It's fine. 
everything's fine. <laughs> anyway, he cute. He cute. Look at him. Um, these are just feather earrings. So I thought I'd throw them in there. Starling feather earrings. Boop, 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 boop. So pretty. Again, pick those up from Tanya at My Jewelry Addiction. And while we're talking about her, I picked this piece up. This is another signed piece um, by a, a really great artist. So I'm super happy about this when I got it. Isn't that beautiful, Black Onyx? I mean, it's just, it's, it's gorgeous. I love this piece so much. So I was so happy to get that piece um, from her. Y'all have seen this if you've seen my videos, but I picked this up recently. This is a um, signed Zuni piece. Um, again, I collect crosses and native stuff, so isn't that beautiful? Just gorgeous. Signed piece. Love, love, love that. Y'all, I can't wear all of this. I can't wear it all. I'm Okay, <laughs> now this piece, I love it, and I don't know what to do. I think I need to take it to a um, jeweler because it's weird. This is a signed piece, um, and I, I got it in a whole bunch of stuff, but do you see how the bell is crooked? It's crooked. That's a great Zuni piece. I think it's Zuni. It may be, and I only say that because of the, and I used to know because I've looked the artist up, um, because of all this. That's what the Zuni is famous for. But this might be Navajo because they do do some of that. But I'm I'm thinking this is Zuni though. It's really pretty, so I need to get that fixed. Again, a signed piece. Uh, okay, this is an unsigned piece, Zuni, um, and it's on a necklace. It didn't come with this, but I put this together. Uh, so this is a native uh, necklace. And it's got the little uh, turquoise beads in it. it this is, uh, what is this silver called? Liquid silver. Yeah. So there, it's got the little doohickeys there. And uppity, uppity, uppity. It's nice and long. And I, I put a lot of stuff on this one, uh, interchangeable. But isn't that pretty? It's a real nice Zuni. Look at that work they do. It's just amazing how they do that. Look, look at that. Y'all, that did not used to be there. I dropped it the other day, and it dented it. Mm. I picked these up recently from uh, another person you should check out. As a matter of fact, tonight she's having a sale, and she has some uh, pieces that I am crying that I want so bad, but I know they're going to go for, you know, quite a high prices and, and um I'm trying to put the brakes on it for, uh, you know, a couple weeks until, um, I'll tell y'all the story sometime on what I'm doing. So anyway, but, um, anyway, so it's Kirsten red sale, go to her channel. She has amazing things. So just put in Kirsten red and it should come up. I think it's Kirsten red sale or jewelry or something like that, but she's amazing. I just love her. Um, and she has great stuff, guys. Great stuff. But look at these sweet babies. I just recently got these. And these are gorgeous with the little bears. I'm wearing them in one of my videos. Aren't they great? Oh, just so pretty. So those are pretty special to me. They're signed. Um, I believe they're signed. Yeah, I believe so. Anyway, this is actually just a costume piece that I picked up at Goodwill, and I adore it. I love it. I put it on a sterling chain. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Love this piece. Isn't that gorgeous? Did I get this at a thrift store or yard sale? I don't remember. Anyway, it's it's not sterling. It's costume. But isn't that pretty? It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. That is unsigned. Um, it, like I said, it's just a costume piece and it doesn't even have the maker on it. So um, 
Next we have, we are moving quick, 20 minutes. It's about when the sound starts going off. So I apologize if that happens again. I'm just so sorry. I, I don't know what to do about it. Um, I've looked this up. I don't remember um, who makes it, but it, it is attributed to a certain tribe. And I think this is just beautiful. I love the beadwork. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, it's just it's just done amazingly well. It's very unique. I love it. So, okay, this isn't going to be the best outfit for it, of course. Um, I think this would look good with just a white t-shirt or something. But, yeah, that's a stunner, isn't it? It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous piece. And this piece... This is not native. It, it's you'll see that there, it's, there. I need to fix it. There, I have the one bead that's missing, but I had to show you guys this because it's so freaking cool. I need to fix that. See where the so. Anyway, one of those is missing. You can see the little those. I think it's on the other side. Anyway, I have it, and then I need to reattach these. I don't know if I'll ever be able to, but. Boom, bam, look at that. Isn't that pretty? I just gotta sit down and do it. I have so many pieces of jewelry that I need to sit down and fix and I just, oh, the teeny, teeny, tiny little stuff is so hard to do. Okay, so uh, that's everything that was in front of me. So let's move on to uh, the two little things and then we'll be done. Um, like I said, if you want to know anything about any piece I showed you, just let me know, put it the timestamp or, you know, just a description of it and I will, uh, tell you all about it. I just, I just, the video would have gone on for, you know, ever. I already talked too much as y'all can tell. <laughs> um, and, uh, uh, if I started talking about every single piece and who made it and what I know about it and blah, 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 blah then, um. This video would be four hours long. <laughs> so anyway, uh, this is a this is an unsigned. Um, I would call this Native American. It's really cool. I like how stiff this is. It's you know it's like really stiff. You can tell. See how it hangs. It's very pretty. Very very pretty. I don't know if that's native, but to, to me that looks native. Um, very pretty. Um, the next piece, I found this piece, oh, well, it's not next, so we'll do the other one. Um, this is another signed piece. Um, I love this. Oh, get up there. Isn't that gorgeous? Again, I think it's Zuni just because of the inlay work. And I got a lot of these in a, um, batch of jewelry that, um, there was an individual who had, uh, a bag full of jewelry and there were several of these pieces and and all of most of them were zuni um i i can't remember there's so many of them you know what tribe they're attributed to and i i feel bad for that but it, see it says signed piece isn't that beautiful so we've got that and then this is the piece i started to talk about i picked this up um this was on a um just a costume chain. So they had it there for just nothing, you know, um, but I noticed this looked like sterling silver. It's an, um, it's an unsigned piece, right? So it doesn't say anything on the back, but that's a beautiful piece of turquoise. It's obviously native. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Next we have, boop, 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 boop. this is another signed piece. And it's really pretty, and I can't tell, guys, if because the the signature and everything is like back behind this thing, right? So I don't know if this originally had this stone on it or not. It's just glued on there. I mean, it's pretty, and I'm leaving it as is, but the signature is, see, it's behind there. So I don't know, but I love it. It's gorgeous. Again, it's a signed piece. And it's native. Um, this is an unsigned piece, but it was with all the native stuff. So I, um, 
I'm calling it native. Yeah. I mean, it, it to me, it's obvious that it is. Um, but I cannot be positive because it is an unsigned piece. Oh, maybe it is signed. Guys, it is signed. There's a signature there. Yeah, this, okay, this, this is another signed piece. It's on the bail, and I guess I had forgotten, because obviously I look at all this stuff when I get it, but yeah. Yay, another beautiful piece. And this again, I think, I believe this to be Zuni because of the inlay work. So the Zuni tribe does some really pretty where they put the, uh, I don't know if it's called inlay, anyway, where they put, yeah, where they put the sterling silver in between the pieces. That's really hard to do. Again, this is another signed piece. Native American beauty, beauty. All right, guys, I was able to get whipped through this pretty fast. Um, maybe my collection is as big as I thought it was. <laughs> uh, it is. I, this is dirty. I haven't worn it in a while, but this is another signed piece. Isn't that beautiful? It's really cool. I don't know if this is like made in the 80s or if, the, you know, that's really just a style, though. It's gorgeous. I don't know when this piece was made, but yeah, it's really, really gorgeous. There's the back. The signature is on here. Anyway, another gorgeous piece. Y'all, this is one of my most favorite pieces of all. I, I'm in love with this. Um, <clears throat> I, I, I got the pendant. Um, I'll tell y'all about it someday. But this is another signed piece. Um, it's Navajo, and it is stunning look at that piece of turquoise isn't that just gorgeous it's big thick and heavy um there's a signature it's just a stunning piece I, I love it i love the color i found this necklace and and necklace goes beautiful with it it's it's just a stunner isn't that gorgeous isn't that beautiful i, I like the chain too right isn't that gorgeous woo, 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 boom boom it does, it hangs right. It's just, there we go. Uh, that's a gorgeous piece. I love that piece. Oh, and I love this piece. I picked this up in Florida um, on one of my trips there. Um, just beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? I don't remember if this is a signed piece or not. I Yeah, it is a signed piece. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Got those big heavy balls on there. Isn't that gorgeous? Pretty, pretty. Y'all, yeah, all this stuff is sterling silver. If I if I if I didn't say so, um, except for that one piece that wasn't sterling silver, everything is sterling silver. Um, I love this piece. This is actually a, a pendant, but I put it on a, a chain because the pendant goes that away. So, and it's a signed piece. And there you go. Ooh, yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my God, I love this piece. I just think that is just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I picked this up from another YouTuber that I really love. Um, it's Janda Panda Treasures, and she is a doll. And I picked this piece up from her. As soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have it. Um, I don't remember whether it's... Oh, it is a signed piece. Yeah, it's signed on the back of the heart. So look at this. Isn't that beautiful? All the pretty colors. Then there's the little heart. With that beautiful... I guess it's called inlay work. Yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. There's a signature back there. That's a gorgeous piece. I love that necklace. I love how that just beautiful, beautiful. And I found, and this piece, I left the tarnish on it. It's a piece I love the tarnish. So I found this necklace in my stuff that had all this gorgeous tarnish on it. So I thought it looked really good with it. So here we go. Isn't that gorgeous? Just beautiful. Another signed piece. And it's beautiful. I love it, love it, love it. 
Um, this is, okay, this, um, my necklace I bought the other day and I put, this wasn't on a necklace, so I went ahead and threw it on there. Uh, again, this is a signed piece. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love how the bail, how they put that on there. They did that on, on this piece as well. See the bell, how it has the turquoise all the way up on the bell. That beautiful. This is beautiful, beautiful example of um, spider web turquoise, which is amazing. <laughs> but anyway, the bell is like that on this one. Isn't that pretty? Sign piece. It's just gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Oh, I love that little bear. This is a signed piece. I picked this up from the thrift store, I think. I like wearing it on the long chain. Um, isn't that pretty? Just really beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. There's a signature. Yeah, I wear, I wear this piece um, often. This is, a, um, a, this is an easy throw-on piece, you know, that goes with everything. It's just simple, easy peasy. I love it. Love, love, love it. Um, okay, and this is the last piece, guys. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope you did. <laughs> um, so I have this on a long chain as well. And I love this because it's unique. So it has, you know, this is Navajo. Um, it is a signed piece. And um, it, it's just beautiful. I love the different... Whatever all of that stuff is, I just really think it's gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed my collection of Navajo pieces. Um, I almost named it signed pieces because so many of them are signed pieces, but not all of it is, so I couldn't do that. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you all are having a great week. I hope you enjoy your weekend, which is coming up. Um, I'll be gone for a few days, but then I'll return and we'll start having fun again. I hope y'all come to my sales um, that I will be starting soon. Um, I'd love to see you um, in the chat. Um, you don't have to buy anything. Just come and see me. Say hi. Um, so we'll see y'all later. Have a great day. Bye.